You guys have been waiting for the latest KO video. Well, here it is. I sped up parts for you too, so we can go over how much you'll make at the end of the video. For setups, you'll choose the Kasatka, the drainage tunnel, the drainage tunnel again, and then the Kasatka. It should look like this when you're setting it up. Once this is done, go ahead and start it, and you should spawn in the water after the next cutscene. Once in the water, you'll swim towards the drainage tunnel. Once you're there, just cut through it. The more you do this, the better you'll get at it. So don't get frustrated if you mess up a few times. Once you're through it, you'll swim up to get inside, and when you get inside, you'll want to instantly pull out your gun and take out these three guards. After that, run to this spot. You'll take out the camera when the guy turns. Then you'll take him out. Watch out for these Rubio's personal bodyguards. They patrol this area. They will know every soldier on the island. Then you can... Then when you run around the corner, you actually have to wait for one guy to turn. Once he turns away, you can take out the guards like this. If you're playing with more than one person, this guard will not have this set timing. After taking him out, go down the stairs and wait for the next guard to turn before you shoot him. Then take out the camera. Taking out the camera is also helpful in case that guy drops the key. Once you're done here, the juggernaut should have walked right by you. You need to follow him to the steps and take him out. If you do it too soon, people will hear you, and if you don't take him out, he'll spot a body. After that, you'll come to the stone bird bath. Be careful not to fully break this. If you break it in half, it'll respawn for you. But if it fully smashes, it won't. So just aim at it like I do. If you see sparks come off of it, that means that you hit it. Once you can move it, you'll want to push it to the wall. Make sure when you stand it up and push it from the top, you don't run into it or you might break it. After this, you'll get up against it and the wall. You'll vault onto it and turn right with your aim while holding D and tapping W. Here, I also show you the GTA Online version that I'm playing on the PC. As you can see, I'm on the latest version 1.67. Continuing after that, you'll want to run all the way to Rubio's office. Normally, these guys will have the gate key, but really, you'll want to get here for Rubio's vault. And because you need to jump off the balcony for the next wall breach. After grabbing the money out of his vault, go in first person and jump off the balcony at the same spot that I do. Doing this will give you a fall bug. This makes it so when you're vaulting onto the railing, you will be able to turn left and right with just A and D. You will be able to test it out on the hedge before you do it on the railing. Once you grab the railing, just turn into the wall and you'll vault through it. If you aren't turning with A and D, you need to jump off the balcony again like I did. After grabbing the secondary loot, you should be able to go straight for the main loot, unlocking the door, hacking the next one, and then grabbing the diamond. Doing all of this on hard mode should bring you above $1.9 million for the take.
After grabbing the diamond, run out the same door you came in. Go up to the front gate and leave. If there is a guard walking there like there is for me, just wait for him to turn around and then you can walk up to the front door. Once you're to this point, you're going to struggle finding the button for a little bit, but that's okay, because we'll never learn where the button is. Ever. Anyways, when you get outside, you'll want to take out the first guy you see, steal his bike, and follow the same path that I do. If you go too slow, the jeep will see you or this guy's body. When you get into the water, just swim straight out like I do. You should see a mine that doesn't have a chain in the distance, and if you swim towards it, you should finish fairly quick. When it no longer says, Escape K.O. Perico, you can get ready for the replay glitch. Wait for you and the guy to trade packages in the cutscene. Then on his last half step, you will pull the ethernet cable right as the screen pauses and changes color. I don't react to the screen change and I use his final step to predict the screen change. After this, just spam enter until you get kicked to solo. Then when the quitting session in the bottom right disappears, you can replug the ethernet and go back online. Once you're inside of the sub, it should say Heist Passed. Now right here, I want to show you guys. It took 7 minutes 46 seconds to complete the heist. This video is just about 8.5 minutes right now, so let's say it takes 9 minutes to do the heist and get back to the planning screen. If you take 60 minutes and divide it by 9 minutes, you get 6.667 heists in 60 minutes. So take that 6.667 heists and multiply it by your take of $1.755.523 million. That comes out to $11.7 million in one hour. You can do this heist faster than I did if you get all the secondary loot in one room, and I was being generous with the loading time, since I load in fairly quick into GTA Online. All this being said, you should make about $12 million an hour doing this method if you can.